they can sweep one away, mm -hmm. or I can get, put him into lock. Because from here in, in medium range, I can just disarm it. Basic, our basic disarm is just like this. I can just lock it, do it, or complete lap. Come on, let's, let's see it. <coughs> oh, that's a big stick. <laughs> <laughs> see? So once, once you strike, this is like a counter, but this is how, how it works also. I'm um, kind of sure that the blocking, blocking is very important. Once you block, not too far from your body, so that you, have, you don't lose your leverage. And besides, you're in, you're in more control, and then you're not holding it, you're just feeling it. So from here, I can direct him, his move. By touching it, the moment he moves, I can easily disarm him. Or just pull him to the ground. I just, we can grab him, we can push him to give him off balance, to off balance his your opponent. This is another thing. In Filipino martial art, there's a lot of, it's, you know, a fight is not fair, right? It's always not fair. You always take advantage of the weakness of your opponent, right? Because from here, this is what we call, <coughs> sorry, this is what I call the, like a pulling, or you, you, uh, hila, or this is like, pause, pull, pull, pull. Because from here, once in your control, get this pulling easily, pull him to the ground. And do your, another moves, okay? But, <coughs> another thing, if I wanna apply some techniques, to break him right away, when he strike, I just put closer, boom! And put him to the ground. Okay? And then from here, if he strike his backhand, for example, came from backhand, I just encounter him. Boom. Just do it using the same technique. Control holes. Like how you guys call it, triangle? In jiu-jitsu or something? Like you're doing this to so someone? Triangle choke. Triangle choke? Okay. That's uh, in our dialect, we call it like a lubag or something like torse or something, whatever. Um, it's a lock. Locking techniques. So again, from here, we just, you want to lock him, right? Or else you want to throw him to the ground. You just control him. See? Or you just, you can do a lot of things here. You just move in here. And it's going to be like a, a lot of different moves that you can do. So you guess okay? Yeah. <laughs> Beautiful. So, uh, <laughs> but that's the way it is. But the thing is, you have to start with a very basic, very basic move. After you're learning the strike, one, two, just like you block. One, okay. The next move is, I want you guys to take, take away weapons, disarm. But inserting this, moving your body that way, in that direction, it's just gonna be a disarm. The moment he, he moves, I just push him to the ground. He tried to charge, he tried to punch me. Right? <laughs> <laughs> so this, and then you can roll him over. Because it's always anticipation and deception. Right? Because from here, the, the moment he did from here, I just gave him an opening right. to hit me here in the face. I just pulled it and pulled it to the ground. Right? Another trick is from here, when he strike, when he got here, I'm giving him an opening. It's a perfect, uh, perfect, uh, like a, Target for strike in multi, I just said, grab it. Oh, I'm sorry, you got, oh. you got strong leg. See, it's all the sit up. <laughs> 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 yeah, but next time we're gonna use a big one. Oh. Use a blade. Use yeah, but that's how it works. Blade will break. Blade. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's go back to work. Okay, come on, spread out. <laughs> 